Tesla recently unveiled the world's first most powerful AI training machine, the Dojo supercomputer, and many have been waiting for the world to release a supercomputer. Can this highly anticipated computer match the expectations that people have of it, or will it outbeat it? Let's find out. Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. In our video today, we shall be taking a look at some new details with regard to the highly anticipated Dojo supercomputer and a few secrets about it. So let's get right into it. Tesla celebrates its AI day regularly every year, and during this year's event, Tesla spoke about how they would be bringing to life the Dojo supercomputer that would be aided by a new chip that they built in-house. This chip is said to come with quite an exquisite design and is bound to amaze everyone. Furthermore, according to the automakers, the Dojo supercomputer is the fastest AI training machine on planet Earth as we speak. The chip that they have been talking about was not developed over a span of a few months, but in fact years of intense research and failure. This research that they have been conducting for years was only known to us by the occasional tease that the company was providing us. This chip is said to provide optimized results for neural net video training. As of now, Tesla has a lot of videos to handle as they receive quite a lot of such data from their growing fleet of vehicles. The number of vehicles runs in millions, and this chip is being used to train the neural nets. Tesla was not very satisfied with the current hardware that it used to train its computer vision neural nets and knew that it could create a better product in-house. That is exactly what they did, and it turned out to be quite successful. The supercomputer was being researched and built for quite a few years, and over the past two years, Elon has been dropping hints about it here and there to keep the users intrigued and ready for the next big hit of technology to hit the markets. In fact, just last year, Elon teased that the supercomputer Dojo would have the capacity of over an exaflop. For those of you who don't know what an exaflop is, well, it's a unit of measurement that measures the performance of a supercomputer that can calculate at least 1018 or 1000 petaflops or 1 quintillion floating point operations per second. By having such specifications, this supercomputer could easily become the most powerful supercomputer in the world and would be in high demand, especially by those who perform a high level of coding as well as mathematical equations. During the AI day that was held by Tesla, Tesla's senior director of autopilot hardware and the leader of the Dojo project, Ganesh Venkataramanan, let everyone know what they could expect from this computer and also revealed some big details in the chip that will be coming along with it. Ganesh had unveiled the Dojo's D1 chip first and spoke about a few features that it came along with. The D1 chip uses 7 nanometer technology and provides a breakthrough bandwidth as well as phenomenal computer performance. It comes with more than 11 miles of wires, 50 billion transistors, and 645 millimeter square of 7 nanometer technology. It also houses an off-chip bandwidth of 4 terabyte PS per edge, while the on-chip bandwidth that it offers is 10 TB PS per DIR. Furthermore, Kinesh showed everyone what the chip would look like and showed a real model of the chip to everyone present at the event. He further stated that this was an in-house project that was quite successful, and everything was made in-house, right from the architecture of the chip to the packaging in which it came. He further added that the chip is like a GPU-level computer that comes with CPU-level flexibility along with twice the network chip-level I.O. bandwidth. Another important thing to take note of is the fact that this is not the first chip that Tesla has manufactured in-house. The FSD chip that you find in Tesla cars is the first chip that they manufactured in-house, following which they made the D1. Another major fact to take note of is that the D1 chip has made a massive breakthrough in terms of its chip bandwidth, and when compared to the bandwidth provided by TPU V3, GPU, and even startups, it performs way better than them by large magnitude. Tesla wanted to create a chip that would connect with each other without any adhesive of any sort and make this seamless connection happen. And after they figured that out, the automaker connected 500,000 nodes together. This benefits the chip in its performance holistically as it adds the interface as well as power and thermal management and results in a training tile. The training tile comes with a wide array of features that will truly blow your mind. It provides features such as 15 kilowatt heat rejection, a computer plane, a component that controls the power and controls of the unit, and also generates 18,000 amps. When you put all these features together, one can get a 9 PFLOPS training tile that encompasses 36 terabyte per second of bandwidth in less than one cubic foot format. Ganesh even showed the training tile on stage and showed how it would be integrated into the system. After showing the magnificent component, 
He stated that the piece of computing technology that he was holding up was unprecedented and was one of the most amazing pieces of engineering. Tesla further revealed that they were recently running a neural network on one of the tiles. Tesla's head of AI, Andres Karpathy, was also present at the event and was quite involved with the unveiling. But it's also important to note that the component has yet to form a compute cluster with the aid of the training tiles so as to help in building the Dojo supercomputer. Tesla further added that the supercomputer can combine 2x3 tiles in a single tray and two trays in the computer cabinet for more than 100 pflops per cabinet. This would thus form a training matrix that would come with 12 TBPS by section bandwidth. This is quite an incredible bandwidth that they will be providing, and Tesla further added that the components would be linked together to create something called an exapod. The Dojo exapod would break the barrier that is created by the exaflop, and this will take place in the 10 cabinet system. Automakers have been trying to do this for quite a long time, and finally, someone was able to execute it. The exapod comes with 120 training tiles, 3000 D1 chips, and more than 1 million training nodes. It'll also come with a uniform high bandwidth and low latency fabric. Tesla is still working on putting the components together and assembling the system. But according to Elon Musk, it'll take as much time as everyone is expecting. And by next year, it can be operational. But we all know how Elon is with deadlines and promises, and it may take longer to become operational. But this would be the world's first fastest AI training computer that's not only power efficient, but also comes in a smaller size. Supercomputers are usually pretty huge due to the large amount of hardware tech that it has to be integrated with the systems. Thus, coming in a smaller format would be a big plus point for the Dojo supercomputer. But what will Tesla use these supercomputers for? Well, this new supercomputer would help aid them in training their own neural networks that would help develop self-driving technology. Tesla also plans on allowing others to access their tech by selling it to them so that other AI developers can also benefit from the tech that is present in the Dojo supercomputer. Tesla is one company that knows that there is always room for improvement and works on finding a solution to improve itself. Since this is just the first in-house chip that they have come up with, the next few updates it'll come with will encompass new changes, which could even mean that the improvements could be 10 times better than the current model. Everyone is excited about this version of the Dojo computer and the versions of this supercomputer that will follow will be even greater. What are your thoughts on the Dojo supercomputer? By when do you think we can really see the supercomputers hit the markets? Do you think the Dojo supercomputer will have to face any major competition anytime soon? What features of the Dojo supercomputer did you like the best? Do bless the comment section below with your thoughts and opinions. With that, we come to the end of our video. We hope you enjoyed our video and please do support our channel by hitting the subscribe button. While you're at it, do smash the bell icon and drop your valuable comments in the comment section below. See you soon!